So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find um, quartiles from lists of numbers. There are four um, basic types of lists you can come across. You can have e two types of even numbers, and even numbers that divide by two, so that could be like 10 numbers or 14 numbers. And then it's a slightly different technique for even numbers that divide by four, so four, eight, 12, 20, 24 numbers in the list, and so on. Now the numbers, I'm, I'm going to show you the uh, this in a list, but it could equally be in a ordered stem and leaf diagram. And you'll notice all the way through this that all of the lists are in order. Um, with the odd numbers, you've also got odd numbers where the number you've got plus one divides by four, and that's slightly different from the technique used for n plus one divided by two, but we'll come to that. So let's go to our first list then of four uh, that divides by two. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So n is 10. Now to get the, the median pair, and the first one in the pair is n divided by 2, and the second one in the pair is n divided by 2 plus 1. So that's the, with the 10 numbers, that will be our fifth number and our sixth number. So we're looking for the fifth and sixth number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's our fifth and sixth. So we add them together. You, you'll know this from previous work. You add them together and divide by 2 for your second quartile. So it's the lower and upper quartiles we're going to look at. So as I have um, five numbers in each pair for the upper and lower halves, then I'm really what I'm doing is finding the median of those numbers. And the in when the case when we divide by two we have an odd number of numbers in each pair. So the median um, will be the middle number and it will be four for the lower quartile and one, two, three, it will be seven for the upper quartile. So the quartiles then, Q1 is four, Q2 is 5.5, and Q3 is seven. Um, now this is slightly, it's not the same when you come to numbers that divide by four. It is for the median pair, but not um, for the others. I'll show you um, what we mean there. So in this particular list, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers. Eight divides by four. So we want the fourth and the fifth for the median pair. So one, two, three, four. So the median um, pair, five and seven divided by two will give me six as the second quartile. We'll write that there. But what about the first and what about the third? Well, this time we have an even number of numbers in our first half of our numbers and an even number in the second, whereas before we had an odd number. So in finding the median of an even number, we have to take the lower quartile then will be the same as the median of the first four numbers. And in that case here, as they're both three, Q1 is going to be three. And then if we look at the top four numbers, the middle pair of those four numbers will be the second and the third. So the median is 7.5. So just recapping then, with even numbers, if it divides by 2, the lower and upper quartiles are found by taking the median of the first half of the numbers. In this case it was 5, so we wanted the third number. And then there were 5 numbers in the second half as well. And so it was the third of those 5. For Q3, I think I've written Q2 there. Now, if we move on to odd numbers, it's um, in the same way, there's a difference. Um, if we uh, n plus 1 divided by 4, um, and our n plus 1 divides by 2. So we'll look at the first set of numbers I've given you. I think we've got 11 numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So for the median, it's n plus 1 divided by 2, which will give me the sixth number. So we'll count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, so there is our sixth number there. Now, we have got five numbers before it and five numbers after it. So what we'll do is we'll put a... And we'll do the same here. And so we have to find the median of those five numbers. So five plus one is six, divided by two is three, so we want the third number. So our third number there. Now you can do three and six and get the ninth, or you can see that it's the third of, of these five numbers, which again is the ninth number. So um, for this then, Q1 is equal to six, Q2 equals eight, 
and Q3 equals 10. So on to the uh, last list. If the list um, is odd and n plus 1 only divides by 2, so we'll have a look at that we've got that right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 1 is 10, and 10 only divides by 2, not 4. We'll find the median in the usual way. n plus 1 divided by 2 will be the fifth number. The fifth value of the fifth is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's Q2. But we now have an odd, sorry, an even number of numbers below our median and an even number of numbers above. So it's different from the example above. So we find the median pair, which is 5 and 7. Right, the, when I say the median pair, I mean the median of the four numbers below um, the median of the whole set of numbers. So Q1 then is going to be the median of the, these numbers, which is the middle pair, 5 plus 7 divided by 2 is 6. So Q1 is 6. Now, uh, I actually put a number in there, which I shouldn't have done. Let's just quickly change that to 10. Okay, so they're now in order. That was just a slight error in writing the numbers down. So we want the median pair here, and they're both 17, so the upper quartile is 17. So just to recap then, 9 was our median. We had an even number of numbers before it, so we find the median of those even numbers, which was 5 plus 7 divided by 2 is 6. And there's, a me there's an even number of numbers above our median that were 4, so we find the median of that before and that's 17. So we have Q2 is 9, Q, so we're wrapping up, Q1 6, Q2 9 and Q3 17. And that covers all the possibilities um, that you can get in lists of numbers where you're required to find quartiles. I hope that's helped.